<sighs> that will have to do. You guys, that are. The her gets levy reinforcements. Very good. Keep marching. <laughs> yeah, people keep committing all their troops whenever they can, which is really sweet of them. I'm not certain if I should be committing to this. No, no, I should not. Retreat. Oh dear. Eh, uh, this could be a problem. Uh, 24th of April. 26th of April, very good. This step. We'll probably want to see if we can't get into the mountains. It'd be a good thing. Uh, alright. Let's see what else we can get here. Pluck things off. 20,000, 14,000, alright. So we won't even be able to commit all of our men at once. <clears throat> I'm not going to send people to death by attrition. That's just foolish. What I do is hold back some units in reserve. In this case, it should be... Yeah, that'll do. We'll only lose about... We won't even lose any people. Good. So like I said, I need enough of a task force that I can commit to defeating them. Why? Oh, that's a Sunni uprising thing. Alright, I guess they're teaming up or something. <laughs> uh, Alright. Yeah, all, all, everyone's already committed their troops. Or at least most people have. Alright. If you're willing to commit. If you're willing to commit. Very good. Just continue to pour reinforcements onto the front line. Now, the problem here with that we have the Abbasid. Uh, I'm invading from Mesopotamia, which is this region. But we also need to ensure that we acquire the rest of Persia. So what I'm going to do is siege up and around. <laughs> I can't simply just directly attack. Well, I suppose I can, but that leaves my f me really open to mispositioning and flanking. Like, he could easily just take out, you know, divide and conquer me. <sighs> it's unsafe. You know? That makes me worried that I shouldn't do it. Well, again, more troops. I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> the willingness of my vassals to help the cause knows no end. By the way, we have a Hellenismos province. It's also Greek. He got an event, I'm assuming, that uh, changes both the culture and the religion to the proper ones, if there's none in your domain, or adjacent to it. It's it's a fairly enough event. Fair enough event. Ah, very good. Or we suffer in this life as well, my friend. Excellent news. Reinforcements, get there. Yeah, right. Alright, so that's a pretty good crippling blow to them. Um, there's great, more Sunni uprising. Just what we needed. Well, you know what? I can't argue with that. That's that's a perfect fit. All right, you know what? You guys, rather than committing you to the front, we're just going to run around and smack these guys down. Uh, because apparently we've got to. Because they have more troops down there. So it doesn't matter anymore. Bribe him. That's fine. I'm not too worried. What? Jeez. Okay. That's enough, guys. Really. You, you've committed enough. Like, this war will be won. <laughs> All of the wars will be won now. There is no stopping us. Hmm. Yeah, so he's already surrendered to the two-linded sultanate, and it looks like the Byzantine Empire won on that front. Alright then. In that case... Uh... Everyone over here. 
we've we, we've bought some time at least. Um, all right, that's all I cared about. We only need the top in order to ensure that we have an adjacent holding. Kill Tebjban. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. That sounds like a pretty either Hindi or like other name of general I don't give a crap about. <laughs> Insert religion I don't care about here. Name <laughs> is what it sounds like to me. No, it doesn't really matter which religion. <laughs> it's any religion that isn't mine. Well, at least that was quick. I'm not certain what he's doing up there, but I want to get my guys close and ready. Because he might go for that. I think he's gathering troops up there or something. I don't even know why you're there. <laughs> you come here. You'll be adjacent that way. So we only need the top holding. Yeah. Leave a couple of dudes behind. There. That's what I thought. Eight thousand eight hundred. What do we got? Supply limit wise, fourteen k to work with. All right. If there's fourteen k to work with, then I want to be working with fourteen k. <laughs> Good, I cannot abide by recklessness. Alright. There. Pretty much perfect. Oh yeah, like I'm letting that happen. Come on now. 21st of October. Yeah, they're, they're out safely. Good. Alright, so once that's finished, we'll go back and smash those guys down. Good. Phew, I was worried for a second there. Um. Hmm. Alright. So, that seems to be the majority of his forces. We'll need to take it out. Okay, embrace the love. Ready for your command. Alright. February 2nd, January 27th. Eh. You, you know how the story ends. Come on. You're trapped. Give it up, prick. If he... Good. I'm gonna be pissed if he actually escaped there. There we go. Cut him down. Very good. You that way. You follow him down. Go down there. Take them out. What? Something about peasant revolt I don't care about. Like usual. <laughs> when was the last time I gave a crap about a peasant revolt anyway? Damn. He can siege that. I should uh, take care of that first. How is... You know what? I'm going to allow this. Just simply because of the hilariousness of the implications of a nine-year-old military commander. As stupid as it is, I, I can't help but allow it. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, shit like this is going to be the downfall. Ooh, youngest kid. He's ill, that's fine. But uh, he's strong. Which is helpful. Alright, you guys head that way. Try and catch them. August 8th, August 5th, perfect. And he's already won his first battle. They grew up so fast. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we are defeating the Caliph pretty easily here. Uh, I'm not too worried. For the time being, at least. Uh, I do want to get to 100 if I can, though. Getting to 100 is kind of a high priority for me. And the reason for that... 9th of October, 9th of October. Good. And the reason that's such a high priority for me is because, uh, you know, just in case the Caliph pulls some kind of doomstack out of nowhere, 
you know, outflanks me or something. Just gets gets me to the point where I'm actually cons concerned that I may lose this. You know, it, it's it's more of a I might I'm if it ever looks like I might lose it, then I'm in, then I need to pull out sort of thing. I know it doesn't mean I get ev if it this reinforcing. Okay, we're gonna have a hell of a cleanup to do after this. I should be some, probably doing something about this. Oh dear. Study tech. Go. Alright. Okay. Alright, every year. I'm not even auto-saving with this mod because it takes so bloody long to save. Understandably. I have to write four times the freaking data. Per well, probably more than, but, you know. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Again, like, the loyalty of my vassals. They know no bound. Zzz. No bounds. Zzz. Long live King Andronicus. Long live King Andronicus. Alright. So we're just going to continue with the uh, standard work here. Head this way. I'm trying to get some kind of task force together here. I can start dealing with these rebels before we're done with the war, preferably. All right, uh, that's all needs to be captured. Up there. We, like I said, we have footholds here, so there's an NBA ticking war score against us. At this point, we can just mostly fall back and uh, try and siege northern Persia. Capture of northern Persia is the end of the war. It also puts into our hands pretty much everything. So, everything that we will need in order to form, like, the Persian Empire. Oh, God damn it. Uh, there are horrors stuff in this life. Well, come on. July 15th. Come on. Och. You bastards. All right. We have to do something. We need to try and gather some kind of strength here. We are getting routed every which way we go. It's to the point where I'm starting to feel somewhat threatened by uh, the mass numbers of Sunni that are uprising against me. <laughs> it, which is not as... See, this is what I mean. Like, no matter how many times I strike this guy, he keeps coming back with a lot more guys. Alright, so he's gathering them. If he does that, that's fine. I'm not too worried. Because I can do the same. This region is 14.8k, alright. If he's really gonna look for a fight, so be it. Twenty second November. Just to double check, we've got good generals here, please. Alright, in that case, I'm going to uh, allow it. Go. Get there as quickly as you can. Yeah. Alright, so that's the nail in the coffin. We're now well over 100%, I think. Oh, no, wait. Finish the siege here. Yeah, sure. Done. Ugh, another reinforcement mob. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, so we're just gonna smash our way through here. If we take this province, it's over. That's it. That's all that needs to happen now. We take one holding, and then we can declare victory. And then, and then, it's all over. And we've beaten the caliphate. And my empire expands. So, tell me about the uh, Persian Empire. Do I have enough to form it? Oh, I still have to be Iranian to do it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh well. Eh, that's okay. You know, I'm okay with that. Whatever. We don't need an empire. We really don't. Which, really. Uh, alright. Um. 
This is going to require revoking a hell of a lot of counties. Only now am I starting to realize the implications of what I've done. But, oh well. This isn't too bad. Anyway, it's a good time to end this episode, I think. So, without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. Damn it, you have four counties. As always, this has been your host, Kaelvin. What? Is there a faction? That, that that faction is moot. <laughs> Just pointing that out. Um, as always, this has been your lovely host, Kaelvin, signing off.